Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. Here's why Shiba Inu news is today after I just sold all of my SHIB tokens. Despite the ongoing FUD campaign that has been directed at the asset, Shiba Inu has beaten the Nasdaq 100 index. Sherbarium, cloning other codes, and Bitbiz threats to divulge the name of Shiba Inu's principal developer were all recent FUD attempts that failed. SHIB continues to grow as a result of the hype surrounding Sherbarium and a rise in bullish attitudes. Since the asset's initial price in 2023, it has increased by more than 33%. In this video, I'll explain why I recently sold all of my SHIB tokens. Today's Shiba Inu news if you want to read our most recent articles on Shiba Inu price forecasts and professional analysis, don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's start the video now without further ado. With a current price of $84, Shiba Inu has experienced increases that are more than double those of the Nasdaq 100. SHIB has increased in value from $0.80 cents to $87, a 33.6% increase. Beginning this year it, the repeated FUD that had caused the divide in the Shiba Inu camp has been defined by these enormous gains. A variety of variables, such as the buzz about Shibarium, an increase in bullish attitude, and the broader market-wide rallies that have been periodically seen in the crypto space, have contributed to the asset's bullish run this year. SHIBs rose during one of the rallies to a high of $0.001, 5.21 on February 5th before encountering a correction that caused it to fall to a low of $0.11, $9.05 two days later. The assets attempted to recover, but the absence of bullish momentum caused a sharp decrease that eventually brought the price to $0.9728 early this month. The asset has launched a new recovery effort in an effort to retake the local top above zero. This campaign recently overcame Shibaria FUD, which has been a barrier. SHIB has increased by 5% over the last 24 hours, and its short-term goal price is currently $0.11. Voyager Digital has started withdrawing US dollars that were deposited into the bankrupt crypto lenders' accounts, according to on-chain statistics. By offering Voyager tokens and Shiba Inu Ether, USDC worth $610 million was delivered to two different Voyager addresses last month. Voyager has already sent Circle USDC worth $150 million to later be redeemed for US dollars. The transition occurs following the past three weeks of slower Voyager sales, according to on-chain analytics service LucanChain. Voyager has started using the Circle service to cash out its $150 million USDC and fiat redemptions, according to a tweet from the cryptocurrency intelligence service Arkham. Although the money has been given to Circle, it has not yet been destroyed. Coinbase also sent Circle $150 million in USDC on that day, perhaps for withdrawal. Tom Wan, a research analyst at 21 Company, the parent company of 21 shares, highlighted that Voyager has been liquidating its assets since February using data from Dune Analytics. In the previous five weeks, they have received 606 million USDC. Voyager is now left with roughly $546 million USDC. However, they still have sizable stakes in alternative currencies like Shiba Inu and Ethereum. The bankrupt crypto lending accounts still contain $151.22 million in ETH. 49.53 million in DGX, and $41.4 million in Shiba Inu, as Arkham reported prior to the suspension of Voyager transactions on March 10. Voyager has provided a list of 50 unique crypto assets to exchanges since beginning the process of liquidating all of its crypto holdings. The three largest, according to Arkham, were ETH, $181.74 million, SHIB, $67.54 million, and VGX, $28.82 million. The US's financial status must be taken into consideration when analyzing the most recent Voyager transfers. The purchase of the assets has once more been postponed. Even though bankruptcy judge Michael Wills approved the $1.3 billion purchase of the assets, the negotiation process is still ongoing. 
The U.S. federal court has once again suspended the agreement in order to give the U.S. government additional time to assess the agreement's constitutionality. The action was justified by U.S. District Judge Jennifer Reardon. The action was taken after the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission filed a separate lawsuit against Binance on Monday. The Shiba Inu price was trading around $76 as of the time of publication, attempting yet another escape from the downturn that had endured since early February. The breakout must be verified in order to proceed. Despite the unsatisfactory price trend of SHIB, the whales have accumulated significantly. The overall number of addresses holding more than a trillion SHIB has grown by 5% over the past month, reaching 42. Additionally, the number of addresses owning between 1 million and 10 million SHIB tokens has increased. These whale addresses build up of SHIB may indicate a price increase. A variety of different market interpretations might be made on the increase in Shiba Inu trillionaires. This can indicate a rise in interest in Memecoin and its potential for development. The burn rate for the SHIB cryptocurrency has significantly decreased as a result of the recent reduction in price. Shiba Inu cryptocurrency's burn rate is monitored by the dedicated Twitter account ShipBurn, which most recently provided an update on the sharp fall in burn rate. According to the most recent report, the SHIB burn rate has decreased by about 100% whereas it has decreased by almost 50% over the previous seven days. The Layer 2 scaling platform, Sherbarium, has been keenly anticipated by the Shiba Inu community. Shido Shikazama, the project's principal developer, has come under fire for serious offenses after a number of launch delays raised concerns about the ecosystem. However, Shitoshi Kazama has reassured investors regarding the debut of the Sherbarium, which has helped the Shiba Inu community feel more confident. The chief developer of Shiba Inu, who goes by the alias Shitoshi Kazama, has indicated that validators are becoming more and more interested in Sherbarium. More than 500 developers have expressed interest in Sherbarium, according to a screenshot from Kazama that a developer at Sunshine Shib recently posted. The majority of validators, according to the principal developer, have been invited to use the Sherbarium beta testnet. Giving validators early access to the protocol, in Kazama's opinion, will aid in their decision-making. Shabaram. Kazama stated that this is the reason the majority of validators have received emails inviting them to utilize the testnet beta to let them determine whether this is what they want to do prior to the official launch. I might have overlooked a few individuals who might have been mistakenly categorized. But as of my last check, 500 validators were interested. These validators will be in charge of confirming the legitimacy of transactions within the network once Sherbarium begins. SHIB's recent losses have a silver lining in that its indicators are currently in a good position and suggest a rebound rally. One is that the coin's relative strength index is getting close to 50 after having recently reached an oversold level in early March. Shiba Inu is entering the Portuguese market in a recent development. Tokapi, an NFT marketplace, has announced that it will use SHIB for all NFT transactions made through BitPay. Tokapi, a Portuguese NFT marketplace, has partnered with BitPay, one of the most well-known cryptocurrency payment processors. Shiba Inu is one of the well-liked cryptocurrency payment methods available on the NFT marketplace in addition to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Customers using the Tokapi platform can now use SHIB to pay for NFTs using BitPay services. The partnership with BitPay fits in with Tokapi's goal to increase the number of cryptocurrency payment methods. Additionally, it gives NFT enthusiasts and collectors a wider range of NFT purchase possibilities. With the most recent update, Tokapi's platform now offers 16 crypto assets as payment choices. An NFT marketplace with its main office in Lisbon, Portugal is called Tokapi. It provides a simple platform for purchasing and selling digital treasures. The marketplace features digital art, apparel, real estate, and music. Additionally, Ronald Kwong's sheer light exclusive NFT edition by the well-known illustrator and animator from Los Angeles was made public through the NFT marketplace. Customers may only buy the NFT collection using Ethereum, according to Tokapi. The Tokapi platform also offers Mirage and Hunters in the Snow, two of Kwong's other well-liked NFT editions. 
Mirage was inspired by Peter Bruegel's original work, while the famous KHM's architecture served as the inspiration for the former. The day is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To view our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.